I just want to be happy. Have you ever thought of that as your model saying, I just want to be happy in the beauty business. I just want to be happy as an esthetician. That is what I used to think my goal was to just to be, to be happy. And I found out why that is wrong for me and maybe not the best place for you as well. If happiness is your goal. Ooh, where are we going with this one? Well, stick with me and let me share with you. If you don't know me, this is your boy, Wick. Wick it, Wick it, Wick it, Wick it, Wick it, Wick it. Shut up. Being in the beauty business, being in any business and life, so many times I have just continually done things and then didn't like the result. Meaning if you're not happy with where you are in your business, me personally, I, I sometimes it's almost, I feel impossible to be happy with where I want to be. Because there's a lot of things that I do that self-sabotage my business. These habits that I have that just need to get dropped. And you, you think it's by some point, you're like, well, I would stop doing this. And I know, for example, with, if it's fitness, I know eating less crap and exercising more is good for me. So at what point is that finally going to happen? So back to this happiness part. Uh, before... My goal was to be happy. If you ask me, go, Wick, what do you want to be in life? What do you want in life? Dude, I just want to be happy. I want, I, want to, I want to focus on my happiness. But one thing I just recently heard that just kind of steered me away from the happiness part is there's a lot of things that I do that make me happy, but is not good for me. Are, are, are you vibing with me? For example... You know, if I should be sitting at my computer doing social media posts, which will benefit my business or at least give me more visibility or help me get better at it, right? That does not make me happy. Sitting and watching Netflix or watching Wednesday again, uh, right? That makes me happy. But, and, and this is the tweak. This is the tweak that, that I'm implementing within myself, and maybe you can, maybe it'll resonate with you, is watching Wednesday or Netflix or, or whatever makes me happy, but am I proud of myself? Ooh, that's a deep one. So I'm shifting my focus from happiness to proud. And, and what that means is, for example, there's a lot of things that make me happy. I, give me some tequila. Give me some tequila. I will be happy. And Lord knows if, if you see back, where's my fingers? I can't, right, right there. No, no, right, right there. You see all that paperwork right there? My floor is full of paper. I haven't even seen the amount of paperwork I got to do. All right. But it's, it's one of those things where I have copious amounts of things that need to be done, you know? It, it, things, there's certain things that'll make me happy, but will not, I will not be proud of myself for doing it. I can sit here and I, I have all that paperwork to do, this to do. I have 238 emails to go through, right? So the, the, I, there's no shortage of work for me. And I assume for you as well, there's always something to work on in a business. Are you feeling me? So drinking tequila will make me happy, but the next day, will I be proud of what I've done? You know, uh, what do they talk about? Like masturbation, right? It's one of those things they talk about. You, you, you can rub one out, right? Double click your mouse, whatever. You know, you, you might be happy with in that process, but after you're done, are you proud of yourself, right? And the same thing in terms of business, so I'm no longer searching for happiness because I've just discovered there's a lot of things I do that make me happy, but are distractions to of, of where I should be. So there's a lot of things I do that'll make me happy, but that I'm not proud of. It's like, well, I did this or I did that or, you know, whatever. As like, you know, you know, when you do something and they're like, okay, but, but tomorrow I'm going to be different, but, but tomorrow I'm going to change. And that tomorrow turns into weeks, that tomorrow turns into months, 
And then years down the road, it's easy to wonder, it's like, oh my God, I thought I would be further along in life than I am. So that, that's one of the things that I'm mentally shifting in my mind. I want to do things that I'm proud of. And I may not like it. It's, it, it, it's not going to make me happy. Doing, sitting my ass down and doing all that paper. I don't know where my fingers are. This one? Okay, now. Doing all that paperwork, right? Well, is not going to make me happy, but will I be proud that I was able to reduce the amount of work that I did and feel accomplished that, uh, that I did it, right? So, you know, kind of look into your life. Again, I'm not saying don't be happy. Happiness is important or things of that sort. I'm just choosing because I just know me and I know my vices and I know the things that I do that I am not proud of or I'm not that's not going to give me long-term happiness in the future. Uh, so, so in my short term, I'm going to focus more on things that I'm proud of. Go, hey, you know what, Wick, you did this. I'm proud of that. You finished that. Good job. I'm proud that you did this. As opposed to searching for and doing empty happiness things that I am not proud of. Hmm. So how do you apply this in your business, in your, in, in your beauty business? Do things by the end of the day, go, you know what? I'm really proud of that because so many times I, I, I'm, you know, just being straightforward with you. It's just been emptiness in terms of what I've accomplished or at the end of the day, it's like, it's like, dude, okay, okay. Tomorrow is going to be different. And then doing the absolute minimum in terms of this or falling behind that or doing, uh, letting myself get distracted with other, other things that make me happy, but I'm not proud of. Mm. There's some depth for you for Taco Tuesday. So could look into your life, look into your business. And, and uh, that's where I'm headed is to do things. And at the end of the day, go, you know what, wait, good job. Go, you know what, you didn't hit this one, but you did do this and this and this and this. So be proud of yourself. Let's try to do a little bit more tomorrow. And then every day, let's try to do a little bit more. And, and that mo those moments of pride of satisfaction, of accomplishment, I'm hoping in the long term will lead me to bring both of those together of happiness and proudness. Is proudness a word? Proudness? Pride? I don't know. If the, the, you are not following me for grammar. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> Grammarly gave up on me. Okay, just saying. All right. So be amazing. Look at your business. Look at your life and ask yourself, have you been pursuing happiness? And if so, are you really happy, right? As, as me, it's like I can be miserable because I'm doing things, going to the you know, gym, or whatever, getting these guns. And, and now it's like, I love going to the gym. However, I need to go to the gym less and work on paperwork more, right? Eh, never about school. You know, do, do the work. Do the work you don't want to do because you know you'll be proud of yourself. And uh, that's my focus. I wish that upon you as well. Let's be miserable. Let's be miserable together in the short term to be proud and successful and happy in the long term. Bam! What to your mother. All right. Be amazing because it pays so well. Peace.